Lindsay Gensel with Minnesota United FC here at Brits Pub in downtown Minneapolis, where Minnesota United held a press conference today with team owner Dr. Bill McGuire, team president Nick Rogers, and the head coach Manny Lagos to wrap up the 2013 season and take a look ahead at what's planned for 2014. It's been a, a great first year. I think that's probably the best descriptor for us. Um, reflecting on uh, high points and some of my own takeaways, uh, I think the start should be that we learned a lot about what we already knew in part, which is there is a tremendous interest and enthusiasm in Minnesota and the community, particularly locally here, about soccer. And uh, knowing that, though, I think we, we did educate ourselves quite a bit about how we can be a more relevant part of that community and make a difference in the sport and also bring a professional level of soccer here that is uh, much more obvious, much more accessible and uh, aware uh, to all people. A couple of things that we have uh, talked about previously, uh, maybe not in depth, and we'll just mention now uh, the new training facility uh, done in partnership with the city of Woodbury, the community of Woodbury at Bielenberg uh, Sports Complex, a large full-size indoor soccer facility as well as adjacent uh, training and other programs which allows us the uh, opportunity, a fairly unique opportunity, frankly, in the Midwest and in some ways across the country to train uh, regardless of weather here, um, 11 on 11 in an indoor facility. And that's going to be a great thing and we look forward to that partnership and the expansion of the team's presence um, into yet another community in the state. So we're, we're excited about that. We've also renewed uh, contract for future years with the National Sports Center in Blaine. And we are going to be working hand in hand with them to take some of our learnings of this year and improve and expand the experience that's available to fans coming up to Blaine for the team's home games and other related events that may be occurring. So we're quite excited about that opportunity as well. I think we had some other successes this year. We partnered with uh, folks at 45 and the folks at Fox Sports North. Uh, and we were able to, to televise two of our home games this year uh, in the local area, which is, you know, was for me a big, uh, big accomplishment. Um, and I think it speaks to the talents of our video team that we've assembled. One of the announcements that we have today is that uh, starting next year, we're going to be fielding a second team um, we're, there's a, a league called the National Premier Soccer League, the NPSL, and uh, starting next year we're going to have a team playing in that league. So we're starting to build out sort of the pyramid of our club where there's a first team, a reserve team, um, and again this is the effort to lay a foundation for a professional soccer club. I, I think the team this last year dealt with some, some adversity, uh, there's no doubt about it, there's some roster adversity both from an injury standpoint and from, uh, you know, in all reality a player production standpoint. Um, I'm very proud, for the most part, of how they dealt with that adversity. I, I think we really would have liked the results to go on a little bit better. Uh, but at times, there were some really great moments this season that uh, we were really proud of. And, and again, proud of the effort and the product that was put on the field. Um, we really think that uh, by finishing strong, it bodes well for next year. And uh, hopefully our fan base, uh, you know, like us, wants to get better and improve and, and really take the good things we did well this year and improve on the things that we need to work on. We're working right now uh, to continue to get better next year. Um, at the end of this month, we'll have some difficult decisions to make in terms of the roster. And uh, even right now, we're, we're, we're working on building the roster to get better next year. Um, we are excited. I think in the packets, uh, Pablo Campos is coming back, You know, the leading scorer over the last three years. Very excited to have him back. Um, we, we talk about his on-field accomplishments, but it's, it's really impressive to see him embracing this community and wanting to get out and be a part of the community the right way, so we were really pleased with that. Uh, Miguel Abarra will be back. He's one of our uh, young guys who I think is one of the best young talents in the entire country. Um, we just re-signed uh, Kevin Venegas as well, who we think is another young talent uh, that uh, we're really excited to have on the field. So. Um, along with that, Aaron Pitchkalin, uh, a veteran player uh, for many years in this country, uh, and he was a best 11 this year. Our four staple players are going to be back for next year that we're excited to announce. We also talked about the MPSL, and uh, again, from a soccer perspective, it's a pretty exciting day because now we're expanding our organization to have a reserve team. 
Um, and we want to let people know that we want to develop players. You know, we want to help our injured guys get back on the field the right way by getting good games to make sure they can come back healthy and be able to last longer. Um, this facility, I believe, gives us uh, the opportunity, along with the MPSL, to really dive into this local community and this local market the right way, to try to get local kids and give them a chance to become professional soccer players. And I think the more we can do that, the more we're going to you know, make an influence in this community as well. Well, we've got plenty more planned for you this offseason. Stay tuned to MNUnitedFC.com for all the news and updates, including the release of the 2014 season schedule. For Minnesota United, I'm Lindsay Gensel.